hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel welcome back to another sit down video with me so today i decided to switch up my content miss universe philippines 2023 the competition has started and they shared uh, her story like a few weeks ago and i just had time to sit down and film about it so bringing 15 contestants that are competing for the title of miss universe philippines 2023 my thoughts on their stories and my favorite parts of their stories so let's get into this video in no particular order i have baguio i don't know if i said it right i like that part where she said in her videos let's go eat i thought it was very cute and well thought of and i uh, also liked the most of her video were very colorful uh, from what i've seen from the video i thought overall the video was very nice especially the colors made the video pop out and stand out more next we have Pelinak. she's one of the moms that are uh, competing for the title this year i liked how she talked more about Perenake, in general the city or province that she's representing and to be a mom and also trying to get the job of uh, miss universe philippines is not easy i give her credit for coming out here and putting herself out and um to try to win the, the biggest crown of the country then we have Palawan I'm not sure if I'm saying it right she talked about how she wasn't born with the silver spoon I can relate to her story not many people are always born with a silver spoon and it just got me after she said she wasn't born with a silver spoon and stuff but then uh, talked about how she didn't have much while growing up I thought her uh, story was very interesting and it just caught my eye especially because the land she's representing is also gorgeous the next one we have pakolod pakolod i don't know if i'm saying it right but she talked about how she took her pain and made it her power um that she took her pain so basically the hardships that she went through and took it and made it her uh, life mission and made it her power in the end out of it i thought it was very interesting and very clever of her to add into her video uh, next we have marinduke her video was very very well done i thought that her team did an amazing job uh, putting this whole video together and especially coming to the end of her video where they pulled her eye i don't know if it's her eye but like there was an eye that opened and then she went back to uh, the places of her city next i have andalu young i don't know if i'm saying it right uh, she talked about how she did not always have a cinderella story again it's something that i could relate to it was very nice of her to add that she didn't always have a cinderella story and it led her to where she is today very interesting next i have batangas she's currently the breadwinner of her family she didn't mention that she's the breadwinner of she just said i'm the breadwinner but she didn't put if it's family or for herself which to me stood out the most very interesting that she added that she is the breadwinner of her family i think her story is very interesting and eye-opening uh, next i have cavite this person i'm interested and i'm happy that she came back and because i personally wanted her to come back and i wanted her to come back for this title i like that her basically when her video started she uh screamed out that she's cavide and i thought it was very interesting and cute again very very smart of her to do that she talked about how she represented the philippines at miss grand i think this was in 2021 and she didn't play she talked about how she felt ashamed for not making her country proud and very very smart uh, of her to add that in this video because it just makes her look like she has a lot on her list and then there was at the end where she said uh, we still have coconut pie like she finished the intro and everything they had said cut and then in the end she decided to say do we still have coconut pie and i was like oh my goodness this is very very cute she was very open about her things and i thought that was adorable and, and smart of her to add next we have Anson city again she's one of the moms that are, uh, that are competing and she shared how she never celebrated her birthday but once she gave birth to her son and they shared the same birthday she found something uh, worth to celebrate and now she celebrates her birthday with her son and who would not love this video next i have cebu province the end was just the best and the beauty of Cebu province just kept getting my eye which is 
something that could happen when people are watching the the videos but the beauty the surrounds you just makes you want to be there i'm just i cannot wait to go visit the philippines these ladies came prepared and they they took their production team to the best places best views to try to sell the philippines to uh, people that want to go visit the philippines and it looked like these ladies have been doing their homework because i kept hearing transformation leader i kept hearing um all these words that are being used miss universe next i have on my list is pa papanga i don't know if i said it right she looked outgoing in her video um Plus, she talked about how Pabanga is the perfect marriage between paving the way for model development and culture. That's something unique. If you're gonna film a video, you need to include obviously the culture, the people. Overall, I thought she said it perfectly and this is the words that I wanted to see from these videos. And I just like she included marriage into it. I thought it was very unique and very standing out worthy. Next one that I have is Tagig. She shared her struggles through life. I think that that's something unique and that's something people usually look into. She made a good choice by adding this part. And she also shared how she chose to make the impossible possible. Again, I was very well thought of for a person to add that she chose to make the impossible possible. Um, and plus, she's a teacher. I can always appreciate teachers. Every day I see how hard their job is because I'm a student myself, I go to school, I see how hard their jobs are and it's just ridiculously insane and I could appreciate a teacher. We love a good teacher. That's also one of the things that caught my eye in this video. Next we have Capiz. Capiz. Her team did an amazing job with the videography especially at the end with the bus the video was well done i think if i had to vote for my best videos out of every videos i could easily have voted for her video it's going to visit her uh, city while she's in the bus and then getting out of the bus and the bus leaving while she's talking her video was well done she and her team did an amazing job at this video Next on my list, we have Makati. I'm so excited for Makati to come back. Uh, last year, she was my winner. Unfortunately, Celeste Cortez, whom I love so much, uh, won. And this year, I'm just beyond, beyond excited to see Makati. It's also her last time because she's aging out. Hopefully, Miss Universe organization changes the age limit. Just in case Makati doesn't win. Just saying, there's a lot of strong contestants. If Makati doesn't win, I'm hoping they change the age limit because I need to see Makati representing the Philippines. Anyways, she was very open with her story. I like that she took us under the ground tunnel. It has all these murals that people have painted. She also shared why she advocates for autism is because of her two brothers have autism. Well, she didn't have to share this, but she did because she's very, very open with everything. Throughout the whole video, she just kept being open about everything and film uh, such a video. Obviously, you're gonna be open and that's what Makati did. I liked that she was very open. Last but not least, I have Bahal. I don't know if I'm saying it right. I could always appreciate Bahal because it's her third time coming. Uh, she came in 2020, I believe, 2021 and last year. And so I could always appreciate Bahal because she has a lot of experience. They said third time is always a charm and I'm rooting for Bahal to win. The reason why being she's also aging out and a lot of people are rooting for her to win and including me because I love Bahal. Yes, am I going to be sad that um, Makati didn't win, Bahal was to win? Yes, I would. Yes, I would be devastated. Anyways, I also loved the beauty of Bahal in her introduction video. After watching all of these introduction videos, I was like, I really want to visit the Philippines. Bahal it is, and I'm hoping she wins this year. If she doesn't win, then obviously I want Makati to win. Or if Makati doesn't win, I want Bahal to win. Because I could say I want Samantha Bornelio to win. Let me tell you, I would want her to win, but she just still has the age to compete even if she, wa she wasn't to win this year. She still has the age, but the reason why I want these two women to win is because they're aging out. Like, okay guys, so this is my thoughts and this video is coming to an end. 
I hope you guys enjoyed me. If you enjoy, make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on those post notifications to get notified anytime I post new videos. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. See you in the next one.